I welcome you all with love. Thinking for yourself. That's a wild idea in the society uh, where there's so much pressure to surrender to the mob no-think and the mob anger and the Stockholm Syndrome and the media misinformation. It's really hard. And that's why it's so important. Because it's not only a privilege, which we're given in this country, uh, but it's also, in a sense, a duty, an obligation. Because when we think for ourselves, it forces us to be aligned with our inner self. Now, what do I mean by that? It's like, well, under that mob pressure which says, forget your life experiences, forget your common sense, forget your morality, your integrity that's been there for thousands of years. Uh, what are we saying? Hmm. Forget God. Forget your soul. Just react. And that's what we're seeing happening today. It's not a pretty sight. And that's the battle that goes on. It may look like it's an outer thing, but it's an inner thing. It takes a lot of courage to think for yourself. More than thinking, it takes a lot of courage to stand up and share your truth based on your soul experience, based on your life experience, based on actually historical facts, all of which people just want to ignore. So we are being challenged today. I mean, we're really being challenged. And part of that challenge is the doubt. There's so many pictures and, and, and the media creates so much doubt and the pressures from everybody. It's one big massive Stockholm Syndrome. It's like, what do we do? There's only really one solution for that. So there has to be a merging of our heart and mind. And that heart and mind connection has to be with our own soul. Well, you can get high in a, in a mob situation. You can get high with destruction and rioting, but it's temporary. Because it's never based on truth. It's based on violence and anger, which is disconnected from the soul in a big way. So that's what we're facing today. Do we have the courage to think for ourselves? We have the option, okay? It's not like everybody does this, but we have the option. And that option creates a counter counterpoint. And that way the society can begin to kind of come into order again. If there's only one opinion and everybody else is in cancer culture and afraid, we can't even bring the society back into balance. And we get lost in terms of our mind, we got doubt, doubt's the, the biggest force undermining people in the spiritual path. Spiritual path, holding our morality, holding our integrity, it does require that soul connection. It does require a certain amount of independence and thinking for oneself. May everyone be blessed to have the courage to think for ourselves, to connect to the cosmic and perennial you know, morals and ethics and truly fundamentals of spiritual life. We don't need to take on the mark of the beast, which is taking on the mob way of thinking and acting. Our souls our integrity as human beings is at stake. May everyone be blessed that we even understand that it is at stake and that we choose to merge our heart and our minds, to think for ourselves and express the inner truth based on our soul connection. Peace be with you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Om shanti, shanti, shanti. Om Madaki Asana.
Okay.